Welcome to another episode of the latest with Maya. Today, I am having a conversation with actress Elizabeth Bowen. Elizabeth currently stars as Deputy Liv Baker in the series Resident Alien, which I love. Um, I am very excited to get to talk with you today. Thank you so much for being on my show. Thank you for having me on your show. As I was mentioning to you earlier, I was excited to be on and I'd watch some of your interviews and your sizzle reel, amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, what genre of movie would your life story be told as? Oh, um, definitely a, a comedy with uh, a little bit of drama. So like <laughs> mostly a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so who has had the biggest impact on you professionally? Oh, wow. Um, I think I would have to go uh, back to when I was a kid and there were reruns of a show, uh, a variety show called The Carol Burnett Show. Oh, yeah. And um, <clears throat> pardon me, I always thought Carol Burnett was amazing, but my favorite on the show uh, was Tim Conway. And he was so funny he would do this old man character where it would take him you know 10 minutes to go 10 feet kind of thing and yeah. I just remember watching him and watching Carol Burnett and watching reruns of um, I Love Lucy Lucille Ball and just thinking that the type of comedy that they did and how they managed to reach people even if most of the time it was under the guise of comedy. I just loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, that was like when I was little. And so growing up and watching comedy on TV was um, one of the big reasons I wanted to get into uh, the entertainment industry. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who has had the biggest <clears throat> impact on you personally? Mm. You know, uh, my parents, you know, obviously a uh, big impact, but I would say just personally, like in my personal life, um, my partner, Tim, because he, I feel like he made me a, a better person. And he, you know, I thought I was like a movie buff and like a voracious reader until I met him. And he kind of just really opened my eyes to like even more. Oh, I love that. Yeah. He was, uh, he's, he's very smart. I don't Google stuff. I usually ask him first because <laughs> he knows so much. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so what small things bring you joy on a daily basis? Oh, um, the, the, like, well, it's only my morning latte. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just love it. It <laughs> makes me so happy. Um, uh, seeing, I sound like I'm 500 years old, seeing my plants, <laughs> <laughs> and I love I love being outdoors like I love walking and I love um people watching yeah. oh I love that yeah in a non-stalkerish way just yeah <laughs> watching yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I got what you meant <laughs> thank you thanks Maya yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, everything, um, basically everything you just mentioned are 
things that bring me joy to just like a good cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's yeah. never better than it's never better than the first one of the day though, right? Yeah, I am um, well, so my family and I always joke that I like coffee as long as you can't taste the coffee. Um, so if there's like a lot of syrup in it that I can't taste the bitterness then I like it no I completely understand I completely understand I think I was like because you're like 20 21 you're 21 so I, I started like drinking coffee I waited until I was about 21 and when I first started drinking it there was almost nothing that I would not put in it. You know what I mean? It's like cinnamon, nutmeg, sugar. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does the trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I am pop culture obsessed and I go in stages of shows that I cannot stop watching. Um, is there a show that you are currently obsessed with? Oh, we watch so many shows. Um, I'm trying to think what, like, I know when we get to the end of shows, we, um, or well, I can't speak for my partner. I get sad. Oh, you know what I really, really enjoyed, and I'm still thinking about it, was um, True Detective Night Country with uh, yeah. Jodie Foster and it's like uh I don't know if you've ever seen any of the true detective series but um this it was just it it all took place it was supposed to be in Alaska and there was just something like haunting and and really cool and uh yeah what about you cool I love that um I feel like I I've had, um the same answer for um, a, a while I now I have been um, watching Grimm and Chicago Med okay yeah yeah um, yeah I'm obsessed with those shows and then my mom and I are watching the show Pretty Hard Cases oh with them um, uh is it uh I'm trying to remember. Oh, they're so good. From the woman from Baroness von Sketch. I I actually don't know what okay. they've been in. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up because I haven't heard of that show. So. Oh, it's really good. It's a Canadian um, all-female sketch show. Oh. And it ran for... Oh gosh, three three or four seasons at least. And it's so funny. And um is it is pretty hard cases? Is it two female leads? Yes. I think I think that is um that is one of the um actors from Baroness Font Sketch. Anyway, if you like sketch comedy, you should check it out. Oh, I will. Thank you for that. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, as soon as you started um, uh, talking about it, it kind of all sounded familiar. So I think I did. Because um, when I started watching it, I looked up everyone in it to see what yeah. else and then, so. And they're both so funny on that show. Yeah. I've watched an episode and it was like, yeah. they're so good. Yeah, I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Do you find yeah. that you like a mixture of like more serious stuff and and then ha- you have to mix it up with comedy? Because I know like at the end of the night before we go to bed, I want to watch comedy before I go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. I like a mixture of, I like a lot of comedies and then I like some dramas. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Got to like, got to like do the, you know, yeah, funny to sad or whatever for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, so is there um, a show or movie that you find yourself um, always putting on when like you just need to escape? 
Oh, there. Um, well, I did go through like several Christmases of uh, watching uh, like either Love Actually or The Holiday. But I'm trying to think in terms of like comfort stuff. Um, yeah, probably. I mean, I know a show, it's been on now for 20 years on HBO, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. And we watched an episode last night. And I mean, Larry David is just, he's his character, he's, it's just amazing. He's like this like hilarious idiot. And <laughs> I know when we watch it, cause like it's been on for such a long time. It feels like a, like a comfort show. Yeah. What about you? Oh, I love that. Um, I have, a. <laughs> I have a lot. The big ones that come to mind, I have four that come to mind. Okay. Um, there's Will and Grace, Friends, um, The Flash, and The Rookie. Okay, with uh, Nathan Fillion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, so those are all my go-tos and then a show called Alexa and Katie that's another go-to for me oh I haven't heard of that one. Oh, it's so good it's on Netflix okay um yeah it is one of yeah my all-time favorite shows <laughs> oh I love that it's like it's so nice to have those shows that we can always like turn on and yeah escape yeah definitely yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, Will and Grace is, like, always, I like, my first go-to. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so funny, and their timing yeah. is, is all so good, and yeah. Sean Hayes, like, kills me. He's, yeah. he's just so good. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, I just, I think that's the show that I think, I I quote so many lines from it daily. I'm yeah. just in conversations. Yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I I get it. I know that they're. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine recently, and they said that whenever they have to um, like do work around the house, like chores, or like they're working on their taxes or whatever they'll stick on, um, this show was from a long time ago, but they'll stick on a show called Cheers. Oh, yeah. And, the, you know, and it's like, I'm always getting suggestions from him. Like, this is a really great show. Um, if you've already seen it to like have on in the background while you're doing stuff. So that's like, it's like its own genre of show. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, is your favorite way to procrastinate? Oh, um, you know, it's probably um, either just looking up random stuff online or um, a way I procrastinate a lot is playing a game called Candy Crush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, I, I've got it. Like I've literally got to leave the house in five minutes. What am I doing? Um, Cause it's sort of like good for procrastinating and good for like escaping and stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm, when I want to, I'm really good at not doing much. Yeah. 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 What about you? <laughs> oh yeah. I am. Um, I don't know. I think when, um, when I get really into a show I and I have something I don't want to do I yeah I just keep I'm just like okay one more episode and then one more after that and so I think that's the big way I <laughs> procrastinate and then I think also just like spacing out on my phone <laughs> yes it's so it's so easy to do I remember in um yeah. university whenever I had a paper due all of a sudden mm -hmm. basically anything on television was way yeah. more important and interesting than the, the paper that I had to work on yeah yeah, 
yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah I I totally get that that was me like all through high school whenever I had to write an essay oh I know yeah. it's just like I remember yeah. one time I did it um <clears throat> I did a paper in college and um the instructor uh when she gave the paper back she said you said this same mm -hmm. thing four different ways and four different times. Like basically the whole paper was me repeating myself four times. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I was the best student. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, yeah, another yeah way I procrastinate is, yeah, just like watching well and grace like I remember and just whenever I'm doing anything just having it on in the background like I remember um every time in high school every time finals came around while I was studying I just have will and grace on in the background yep <laughs> just as like uh, just a comfort because I was so stressed uh, oh it's like they're they're the most stressful exams it's like yeah. I feel like everything just goes yeah yeah it's definitely even talking about that I can remember how I was feeling yes I still have like occasionally like like school anxiety dreams you know where I like didn't show up to the class all year and then I show up near the end of the year and there's an exam and I don't know anything uh, yeah <laughs> and I'm like I'm gonna fail this class like when does that go away yeah <laughs> yeah it feels like it it just keeps haunting you <laughs> yeah I know enough already yeah <laughs> um so what do you wish people um better understood about you Oh, um, I think, you know, like when I feel like I like doing, you know, comedy and drama, but I think like when you have the ability to do comedy, I think a lot of people think that like all you are is funny or you're the clown or whatever. And I think like I can be just really quiet and like, I like spending time by myself. And so yeah. I like, I, I'm, I'm not always on. Yeah. So I can yeah. just be like quiet and not very social. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I um, I don't know if it's much uh, that people like don't understand, but yeah, I um, I um, yeah, I can like be very social if I want to be, but then I also can just be like I just need time in my house away from everybody. <laughs> Yeah, because it's like you need yeah. that to recharge. I was yeah. reading recently, like, um, you know, I don't know if it's like considered to be personality types or what, but I was like, oh, maybe I'm an extrovert introvert. Yeah, because like, I'm pretty, you know, I'm probably more happy. But yeah, I, I feel like I don't know for you, but I feel like when I do have that time to spend time on my own, it literally feels like it's kind of recharging a battery or something. Yeah, definitely. Because it can be draining being social. Yeah. 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 Can. Yeah. The problem, though, is when I'm, like, inside for, a, like, I need to be at home for a couple of days, then I don't really want to leave. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> then I have to, then it's, I have to force myself to leave the house and go no. out. No. <laughs> I totally understand that. I get that too. Sometimes, especially more um, like in the earlier days of the pandemic, like I would sometimes go, I haven't left the house in four days. Like, and I was fine. I was just like, yeah. so yeah, no, I totally get that. Yeah. 
Yeah, usually my mom will have to be like, you have to go out and see the sunlight. <laughs> I know. I remember I had a, a, a friend of a friend ask me one time, because I was outside, this was years ago, you know, and I'm super pale. Yeah. And they were like, do you ever go out in the sun? Like, are you a vampire? And I'm like, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's my family. And I actually always joke about that. I'm a vampire because I'm just, I'm so pale. And yeah, I can't, like, when it's super hot out, I can't go outside. Yeah. Because um, I just get so overheated easily. So we, yeah, we always joke that I'm a vampire. And when I haven't left the house in a couple of days, my mom jokes that if I see the sun, I'm going to, my mom and I both joke that I'm going to just turn into dust. <laughs> do, you, do, you watch, do you watch any vampire shows? I, yeah, I've seen, um, a couple I actually there's only one that's coming to mind right now yeah um, so um yeah which is there was a a show um a long time ago or several years ago on Disney called my babysitter's a vampire and I don't know why but that's the only show with a vampire that's coming to my mind right now no, I get no. that. I get that. I think the only vampire show that I've like watched consistently is what we do in the shadows. Oh yeah. I was actually just about to ask if you've seen the movie. Um Oh yes, I have. Yeah, because the movie is yeah, one of my favorites. So I think it's so funny. <laughs> it's so good. Those guys are so yeah. funny. And then uh, yeah. J uh Jermaine Clement and yeah. all those guys did you ever see any episodes of Flight of the Concord or Flight of the Concords? I, I didn't no okay it's really it's really quirky and it's mm -hmm. it's kind of fun if you like if you liked what yeah. we do in the shadows like appreciating you know their type of humor and stuff yeah it's good yeah Oh, cool. I'll, I'll write that down. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm like, it's terrible that I can't remember if it's plural or singular, but what yeah. of the Concord? Concords? Yeah. Anyway. I, yeah, I'll write it down and just put an S in parentheses. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, no show. worries. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah so sorry I um lost what question I was on <laughs> um, okay. so what three words um best uh describe or do you think best describe you oh um these are good questions Maya I'm like Thank you. <laughs> I'm like uh <laughs> I would say um, sensitive, um, affectionate, and I guess sometimes, I don't know. I mean, it makes it sound like maybe sometimes moody. I don't know. Are they <laughs> loyal? Loyal? I don't know. I love those. <laughs> Do you, do you have, like, I'm just curious, do you have three words that you think describe you the best? I, I don't know, actually. I feel like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. I know it's hard when you, when you start to think about it and you're like, oh, I've got three, like, Ooh, I got to be careful what I pick here. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it's all like, good. yeah, I feel like maybe like funny, I don't know, kind. <laughs> I I don't know. I can't think, I feel weird like picking words that describe me. I know. It's almost like, it's almost like you want, like, I would want someone else to, because I'd be like, well, how, how do you see me? Like, yeah. Yeah, no, I hear you. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you had a reality TV show about your life, what <laughs> would it be called? Oh, oh, um, it would be called overthinking because <laughs> I do, I over, yeah. I overthink everything and I think it like yeah. really gets in my way sometimes for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, yeah, um, I overthink a lot too. <laughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes it's good because like it, I feel, I don't know about you, I feel like it makes me curious about things. I mean, that some people might think like, why are you curious about that? But sometimes when I overthink things, I'm like, well, how was that made? Like what had to happen in order? What were the steps for that thing to be created or whatever? So I think there definitely are some good aspects to overthinking things maybe yeah yeah <laughs> I yeah I think so I think yeah I just I feel like I overthink so much that a lot of it is you know I don't need to be overthinking <laughs> um, yeah so, yeah and usually my mom and my sister have to like they will tell me you're overthinking this. <laughs> yes, I hear that all the time. Yeah. But don't you don't you also think like overthinking might be the sign of like a like a creative mind too? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I've never really thought of it that way, but now that you say that, I, I like that. I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. Me too. Let's go with that for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, what book from your childhood left a lasting impact? Oh, Maya, these are such good questions. Like you're asking me questions I've never been asked in an, in an interview or podcast before. This is amazing. Um, Thank you. I know that uh, one book I read uh, was "Are You There, God?" It's me, Margaret. Yeah. And I love. I just loved that book because I felt like it talked about things. I don't know that maybe I hadn't talked about with other kids or like you know conversations maybe I hadn't had with adults and stuff. And I just I really liked that, and I really liked like um all the like uh Ramona and Beza's books too I loved them yeah yeah <laughs> oh I love that yeah um so if you had a warning label what would yours say <laughs> oh my goodness um uh maybe um like spicy when tired <laughs> or like you're salty when tired <laughs> I don't know yeah that, that's probably pretty good yeah I like those <laughs> yeah. um so I um love inspiring and motivational quotes and this week my favorite quotation is I am so much more than you told me I was, um, is uh, there a quotation that has inspired you lately? Oh, you know, I mean, I definitely know when, that's a good one. Um, I definitely know, like every week I feel like I'm, you know, on Instagram or whatever, and I see something that really resonates with me. Um, there is something sort of just, I think it, I'm not, uh, a, like a faith based person. I, um, you know, I'm, um, I don't, I don't have a religion or whatever, but something that always stuck with me over the years, you know, if you knew that someone was going through a hard time or something like that would be, um, there, but for the grace of God, go I. 
And just the idea of kind of putting yourself in other people's shoes. If people were going through a hard time, you know, or, you know, something terrible had happened or anything like that. I think it was just, you know, a, a quote that would just remind me, like, you know, you, you may be going through a hard time yourself, but just, just remember what other people are going through. And, and I mean, this isn't, if this were a quote, it would be a really long one. Um, but just the <laughs> idea of like, um, putting the shoe on the other foot all the time. So, yeah, I think stuff that makes me any, any sort of quotes that sort of make me think outside of myself, I, I always find, um, to be like inspirational. Yeah. Oh, I love that. It's a long answer. <laughs> well, I, I love that answer. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, it it was so much fun talking with you. I I just had the best time. I so appreciate your taking the time. So thank you. Oh, Maya, and thank you. Like, I, I just think you're so cool. And I've really loved even just researching things a bit and getting to talk with you too. Like, this is like made my day better for sure. Oh, thank you. You are, you have made my day uh, like a thousand times better. So thank oh. you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day me too thank you um yeah and that's a wrap on today's edition of the latest with maya <laughs>